Reason number five is my favorite, so let's jump right in. The first and probably most obvious reason why I went with all Garmin avionics in my home-built bush plane, cutting edge capabilities. From auto trim to synthetic vision to highway in the sky and safe taxi, all the way to new cutting edge technologies, such as Smart Glide and even Autoland, Garmin keeps pushing the envelope with what's possible with integrated avionics. I love seeing frequent firmware upgrades and added features, and we experimental customers get to see those updates first. Two, the level of integration here is simply amazing. Garmin Avionics use a super reliable CAN bus architecture, allowing for future upgrades and seamless user interface with remote LRUs. So to achieve the clean look of this panel, I chose to put my audio panel and a second VHF radio down underneath the floor and I can interface with them on the touch screen here or here. The ADS-B traffic received by the GNX 375 will also be shown on both the displays and will give me audible warnings similar to my favorite integration for the backcountry, AOA. Now, let me just note here that I am not sponsored or affiliated with Garmin in any way. Number three, redundancy. The most vital avionics have an option to wire a backup serial communication path. Also, most LRUs have two power inputs, which allows me to have a totally independent battery backup system. Now, the system automatically switches to the power source with the higher voltage. Beyond the obvious benefit of this, I like the fact that even when I am cranking my engine, I'll have steady, clean power to my engine monitor data. Now, in the unlikely event that I lose my PFD on this screen, this screen, the MFD, will automatically switch to the PFD. And, by the way, for flight instruction, I can manually revert it with a flip of a switch. The addition of this G5 gives me a second pitot static system, an independent GPS, and a second Atahar, so it'll even take over the autopilot guidance should I lose the main system. Oh, and the G5 has its own separate battery backup as well. Number four, Garmin customer support. So the Garmin techs are super responsive to email inquiries, and I've even found them answering questions on all the forums like Vans Air Force and Beach Talk. The documentation was vital, it's second to none, which leaves me to number five. The ability to wire the system myself. Now I'm assuming most home builders buy pricey custom harnesses because it's intimidating, and it was for sure. But I made a decision to DIY my harness even as a first time home builder, and it turned out to be the most rewarding part of the entire build. Trust me, I am no engineer. I've been a stick monkey my whole life, and even I was able to do it. And since I designed and laid every wire myself, I'll be able to wire upgrades or troubleshoot any issues should they ever pop up. So I encourage you, consider building your own harness. All right, a couple bonus reasons here. Garmin is an American company whose avionics really boost the resale value of any aircraft. Of course, I do want to acknowledge that there are some other really quality avionics manufacturers out there. But I can say pretty objectively that if you want the best, go Garmin. For more on this avionics package and installation, I'll leave the playlist here. If you're interested in following along as I finish this build, test fly, and start the backcountry adventures, please consider subscribing. Until next time, you're clear to rent.